Hello, beloved brethren. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Got some flowers for you guys. <laughs> In Revelation, God says, there will be time no more. Satan had a little bit of time. <clears throat> the time is up for Satan. We have everlasting life. <laughs> Victory is ours, beloved. Okay, so Satan's time is going to be no more, he says. And so let's get back into what he was talking about. So we were talking about the Italian serpents that swallow men whole, dragons, and even uh, Hindu, India, and all these different countries, including Israel, uh, which is Babylon, the rebellion, and her children. She's Hagar, the bondwoman, with her children, the kings of the earth, the mighty men, the sorcerers, the murderers, the whoremongers. What happened whenever, what did God say in the New Testament? He said that just as Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, when Lot went out, fire and brimstone went out, went um, fell on them. Okay, as soon as Lot went out, same thing's going to happen here. As soon as we go into the kingdom, fire and brimstone is going to land on them. And it says in Revelation that it, it they will wish to die. So it's a time when they're cast in the lake of fire eternally. So the vile man. And Judas Iscariot, God wanted me to remind you. Um, so Judas Iscariot was a demon. So those people who are like Judas Iscariot are demons. And, it's, and Jesus said to the priests of his time, he said, you make them twofold the devil as yourselves. So that that that's oh, that's um what is going on okay they come up from below they have a king over them the angel of the bonus pit it says in the scriptures so they become like their father the devil the dragon the serpent all right the vile man judas iscariot the son of perdition there's many in one just so you know just like we're many in the body of christ there are many in one and why are they wicked well, because Satan's blinded their, their eyes. And they don't believe the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the light. Because he is the light, the son of man. And the flesh is not the son of man. He was fashioned in the flesh. That means you put on a coat, you know, like whenever you put a coat on, you're fashion. You have a fashion, you know. I'm cool because I got this cool coat on. Um, he was fashioned as a man for the suffering of the cross. His cross, the blood of the cross. And uh, I had a flash vision of the cross whenever the earth and the earthquake happened right underneath my feet when that happened. And in Napa, the earthquake happened right during that time. Just so you know, these are spiritual things, beloved. The angels came down when the earth quaked. Okay, I had two angels with me as I was giving the gospel and Christ's light was shining on me. And I had a brother in Christ bow because he said that Christ was with me. And so... He saw the light all around me, and it all became white. After that, after my transfiguration, after that, I was attacked like you wouldn't believe. Oh, my gosh. Attacked. It says that they, that they trampled down the holy city for 42 months, I think it is, right? So trodden of, of men, underfoot of men. That, and nobody is, it says in the scriptures that everybody is, you know, all the saints are, are you know, Satan overcomes all the saints. And it is true. But in the end, we have victory. Hallelujah. So just wait. It's coming. God has shown me there is going to be time no more. That's what he's saying to me today. There's going to be time no more because his testimony is going to be over. This is his word. This is test his testimony against the wicked. So we were talking about the dragon, the serpent. And um, so uh, he, that tempts and casts stumbling stones before the children of Israel with his children, the, the seed of Satan. Um, the sorcerers, the whoremongers, the murderers. And um, and it's very important to understand Palestine and Dagon. Dagon was uh, took the Pal Philistia, the Philistines took, which is Philistia, they took the, the Ark of the Covenant into their temple. And what happened? Um, God uh, cut Dagon twice. And then they said, get that Ark out of here. So they were... So God was killing their, their God, okay, <laughs> and in their temple. And the same thing is happening during our time. 
they took when they when Satan deceived Eve, they were taking God's temple into their place. And what happens? God destroys the serpent. What did Jesus say? He said, Satan, something in you will burn you up. God destroys the serpent. Okay. And so what's a Philistia? So Philistia, serpent worshippers of the dragon, Dagon, which all the kings of the earth worship him. And you see these kings of the earth, like even Putin, is with the black hat proclaiming Jews, the, the proclaiming rabbis, which Jesus said, call no man rabbi. And he says, those that say they are Jews and do lie and are the synagogue of Satan, just so you know. Um, so that gives you some idea of what, who we're dealing with, Mystery Babylon and her children. That's the black hat wearing one is Mystery Babylon, the harlot, the whore, with abominations of the earth. With her children who all go to Greek fraternities or Skull and Bones or Freemasonry or Jesuits and Shriners and all these. They are the clowns of the earth. They're used to do sorcery on us. Even our, our, our kings in this country. And uh, they during the Education Act, they join with them and they sign the Education Act, which I do not agree with in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. That policy is demonic. I say no to it in the name of Jesus. Um, and I hope you agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. As royal kings of priests in light. Now they rule under darkness. All right. The shadows in darkness. But they appear as righteous, right? Okay. And then they have to fight each other, but they're really all on the same team. <laughs> all right. So uh, that's revealing Revelation 17 and 18 and 22. Verse 15, they're outside of the temple of the living God. They're not in the temple of the living God because they don't believe, they believe the serpent that's speaking in their ears. So I, ha I saw a, vi a picture of Putin with a black hat wearing sorcerer, mystery Babylon speaking in his ear. So what does the serpent do? Speaks in their ears. All right. So a vile man, they become vile. And what did God say about, they make God into the image of a beast, of a serpent, a creepy crawly things and of corruptible man. So the flesh is corruptible, but son of man, Jesus, he was not corruptible. He was the Christ from the beginning. And the in law of Moses, Christ doesn't, is, never dies. So these ones are Philistia. And how do I know this? Because the Greek fraternities and shorties that I have watched and witnessed, and even all of those that went to Greek fraternities and shorties who are in Hollywood and politicians and whatnot and athletes and um, all kinds of stuff, uh, they all dress as women, these men. And uh, they, ha they have told me it's because they transgender because they're worshiping their God. They're the Baphomet goat and they call themselves goats. So they're like him. So Philistia, that's what Philistia did. The Philistines dressed as women, the men. And the Ro uh, they say Rome and Greek did that. I don't, I don't know, but I know the Greek fraternities do which they all claim to be Jew. They all, and one of them laid at my feet and said, I'm a Jew and looked up at me as he was laid at my feet, which is the revelation says, I will bring them before you and they, I will make them to lay a bow before your feet. So just so you know, that is a real thing. <laughs> it really happened. And he looked at me and said, I'm a Jew. You wouldn't believe the evil things I've done. I, and so you know, I gave him Isaiah 53, but Jesus said, those that say they are Jews do lie and are the synagogue of Satan. So, um, in revelation of Jesus Christ. Um, so these Judas Iscariots, this woman today who took my picture, uh, the old Testament says, to, uh, God told the prophets to destroy the pictures in the land, the images, because they use them for sorcery. They spy out God's people because of hate. They hate us. And Babylon has no throne. The scriptures say, according to God's word, they have no throne. And they did not show his people any mercy. They did not show the indigenous tribes any mercy. So God is judging them with his word. And there's going to be no more time. And Babylon has fallen, has fallen, has become a habitation of devils and a cage of every foul spirit and hateful bird. And Babylon's destruction is here. God is going to destroy her. All right, beloved, I'm going to have to stop this one because I'm running out of time, but I'm giving you bits and pieces. I hope you're watching all of these things and you're going to the scriptures to check these things and make sure that they're exactly what God has said, which I thank God from the beginning and the ending, he has a judgment against the serpent. 
for deceiving the nations, in the beginning for deceiving Eve, but in the end for deceiving all nations. And every single nation had to experience that virus in 2020 by the 